Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you how to install and to customize Siren Mastery correctly. So what we're going to do first, we're going to extract the archive using WinRAR. Uh, so you just open it with WinRAR and you just click Extract To. You're going to click OK and it'll pop up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the documentation license folder and open the documentation. As we can see, installation consists of three parts. But the first part is going to be plugin installation. Now, that is what you're probably used to. You're going to copy and paste the contents of this downloads Grand Theft Auto 5 folder in, into your own Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. So we're going to go to this downloads Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. We're going to select everything by clicking Control A, and we're going to copy. And we're going to go to our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. And once we're in your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, we're going to hit Control V to paste and replace and merge all files if prompted. So now it's asking me to replace files. We're going to click Yes. That is all going to be good. So let's go back to the documentation. Step two is going to be configure the iNive files. You can do that if you'd like. I'm just going to stick with the defaults for now. Uh, that isn't very hard to do, so I'll leave that all to you. Part two is the preset sirens installation. So what we're going to do is we're going to load OpenIV. And once we've loaded OpenIV, we're going to go into the mods folder, x64, audio, sfx, resident.rpf. And we are going to right click vehicles or AWC. And we're going to click export to wave. And in the dialog that comes up, you need to navigate to the following folder. Navigate to your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, Plugins, Siren Mastery, and click Select Folder. And wait for it to extract. And it's done. So that is part two of the preset sirens installation done. If you ever change your in-game sirens, just repeat part two and you'll get the in-game sirens you just installed back into your Siren Mastery configuration as well. So once you've completed the first two parts of the Siren Mastery installation, you're basically ready to go. And all you need to do to load it in game is type load plugin siremastery.drl into the console. That is all explained here. And you can optionally disable your horn key binding in game. That is also all explained here. So you're basically ready to go. And if you don't want to customize your Siren Mastery any further, uh, you can just go and play. You don't need to worry about anything else. The first part of customizing your Siren Mastery installation is customizing your vehicle siren setups. And this is all done using the file at this location, which is an XML file. Now, if you haven't got a proper text editor to edit XML files, I recommend you download Notepad++, link will be in the description, because editing uh, XML files with only Notepad is very, very difficult. And Notepad++ makes it a lot easier for you to do. Here we can see the XML file, the vehicle siren set of the XML file. If it doesn't exist, you need to load Siren Master into your game once and it will create it for you. So we're going to open this. Now I've put in an example of my own. Um, you will be greeted with an empty XML file with just the comment, uh, but you can add as many vehicle siren setups as you wish, uh, as I've done. So let's quickly walk through the documentation. Um, every vehicle model in the game can have a siren setup, and the siren setup consists of a minimum of four sirens and a maximum of 10 sirens. Uh, if you haven't specified a custom siren setup for a vehicle model, a default setup will be used, so you don't need to specify a vehicle setup in the XML file if you don't want to. So a vehicle siren setup consists of a model and a list of sirens. As for the models, you can have multiple models per siren setup, as we can see over here. We have three models for one siren setup, so you don't need to copy paste the whole siren setup every time just because you want them for different models. You can just add a vehicle model tag over there. And a vehicle siren setup also consists of a list of sirens as we can see here. Now a list of sirens should consist of tags called siren 1, siren 2, siren 3, etc. And every siren must have a siren uh, type attribute which will determine the role of the siren in game. Um, so for example the siren type attribute of siren 1 in this vehicle siren setup is primary, siren 2 is secondary, siren 3 is secondary as well, and siren 4 is horn. Um, there is a list of the possible siren types included in the documentation. 
you can have primary, secondary, horn, or forced only. So primary basically uh, represents a primary siren, secondary represents a secondary siren, which is activated if you press T. A horn, that represents a horn, that could be activated if you press U or I, these are all default keys. And a force only siren is only activated if you specifically force it to activate using one of the number keys. Um, so that are the siren types explained. Now, the value of a siren can be one of two things. The name of a preset siren, there is a list below, we'll scroll to that in a minute. Or the file name of a WAV file inside the following folder. The custom sirens folder, which I'll show you now. That is this folder. So I have put two WAV files inside this folder. And I can use both of these files in my vehicle siren setup. So we'll take a look at how to do that in a minute. So let's take a look at all the possible preset siren names. So you can just use these siren names uh, in your vehicle siren setups uh, without having to install anything else. So this is the entire list. As we can see, police primary, that is a preset siren. That is a siren that will be taken from the vehicles folder. You can basically put any of these in and it will take the appropriate file from the vehicles folder that we created using OpenIV earlier. So, for example, I could use Firetruck Primary, copy it, and put it into uh, here. Firetruck Primary, and the siren is already primary, so I don't need to change that. But if you want to, you can also change the Firetruck Primary to a secondary siren. You can basically set it to whatever you like. So you can basically set primary sirens as secondary or vice versa. So these two things are completely separate from each other. These determine the role in game, and this is just the name of the file. Now, the second thing you can do is use the custom sirens, which we just saw. So if we just go back to this, into this folder, we can see I've got two uh, files in my custom sirens folder. One is called British My File Name, and the other is called British Police Warning. The file name can be anything as long as they don't match any of these. So just name them anything except some uh, one of these on this list. Um, so, if I want to use this siren uh, sound in my siren setup, I simply copy the name, go back into the XML file, and as you can see I've already put it in, but you put it in over here, between the brackets as a value, and it will play that siren sound in-game. As you can see I've also done that with the second file in the custom sirens folder, which is British Police Warning, as you can see British Police Warning, is the file name and over here I call it British Police Warning so it will take that file from the custom siren file and that is really all there is to it you can repeat that as many times as you want uh, you can put it in any siren slot so you could have this you could have that over here change this to secondary uh, you could change this to police primary Primary, or you could even quite well, simply remove all of these, take them away, and they only have seven sirens. Um, so you can have anywhere between four and ten sirens, inclusive, and it'll just work as you want. Now, say I want to use this vehicle siren setup for multiple models in the game, uh, I can just add vehicle models over here. So let's say I want to make this work for the sheriff as well. I can just copy paste this so I don't need to type it and I can put sheriff over here or say I want to use it for the ambulance I can put ambulance over there or if I want to use this for the police bike I just put the model name of the police bike which is police B let's put that over there so um, this siren setup will now apply to police 2, police, police 3, sheriff, ambulance and police B in game. So you don't need to copy and paste the whole vehicle siren setup and change the vehicle model. You can just add the vehicle models over here and it'll work for all of them. Do remember that you can only specify one vehicle siren setup per model. So you can't put police B over here and again over here. The maximum number of times it'll work is one. Another thing you're able to do is change the siren switch and the siren toggle sounds. For instance, if you prefer the siren switch honker sounds, which is the British horn switch sounds, you can just replace the files and it will use those as the siren switch or the siren toggle sound. 
Another thing you can do is replace the UI images once they become available, so you can have a custom UI if you don't like the default one. And that is really all there is to it, so I hope you enjoy customising your Siren Mastery exactly the way you like it, and I hope you enjoy the plugin. If you have any further questions, please let me know. If this helped, please let me know as well, and I hope to see you all in the next video.